Donald Trump's campaign website gets hacked. FBI warns uh, ransomware hacking health care uh, systems. And why phone scammers love old phone systems. All that and more next on The Computer Doctor Show. You're listening to The Computer Doctor Show, your source for technology subjects affecting your business and personal life during this new normal. Your host is an award-winning office technician and IT specialist, author, tutor, ethical hacker, and recent winner on localbest.com as the best computer shop in Tucson. Broadcasting live, here's Aaron Moss. Hello, Tucson. Welcome to the Computer Doctor Show. I'm Aaron Moss, your host. Good to have you with us every Saturday at 2 p.m. right here on KVI 1030 The Voice and streaming live on YouTube on the 1030 The Voice YouTube channel. Our open lines 520-790-2040. Feel free to call in anytime with your comments and questions. We have a great show prepared for you today. We have in studio behind plexiglass uh, our friend Rod Brown, former AT&T installer and electrician, uh, always brings a wealth and wrath of knowledge to our program, telling us how it really is. Later in the show, we're going to discuss the topic of how scammers use landline phone tricks to drain your bank account. But first, our top tech news stories this week. Donald Trump's campaign website was hacked on Tuesday for almost 30 minutes, according to the New York Times. Law enforcement was looking for the parties responsible for the cyber attack, but unable to determine if it was domestic or foreign. The FBI stated that there was no compromised data since no data is stored on the site. The scammers claim to have hacked multiple devices of people associated with the campaign, bragging that they were recording secret conversations and heard classified information. The website hacking encouraged visitors to buy cryptocurrency. The email related to the cryptocurrency traced back to an email with a non-existent domain. Investigators determined that one of the real website administrators must have been tricked by a scam phone call to give up security credentials. A simple domain redirect was all it took to put site visitors to an alternative location. So again, people, we have to make sure that we're monitoring our phone calls. Phone calls and human uh, hacking are the biggest things that are affecting us, and we're going to be talking that in just a bit. Also. Uh, healthcare systems are at risk. The Associated Press said Thursday that the FBI issued a warning of cyber threats against data and healthcare systems. They said that they have credible evidence of an increased and imminent threat to U.S. and hospital data theft. The attack will be aimed at scrambling data using the ransomware approach, then asking for money for the data to be used to be usable again. Scrambled data can mean doctors and hospital staff not being able to see patient data during treatment times, critical treatment times. One German man has already lost his life due to similar complications, but such cases are rare. Four U.S. hospitals have already been affected in New York and Oregon, and more are expected. A cybersecurity expert mentioned that the threat will be unprecedented in its magnitude. Another expert said that it will be the most significant breach in the country that we have ever seen, even calling it a cyber plague. Affected hospitals will force administration to go back to paper and pen for a while if this really happens to them. So... Make sure you're backing up your systems. The Computer Doctor Show is looking to interview someone who is currently using the new Starlink Internet service by SpaceX. If you or someone you know are using the Starlink Internet service by SpaceX, please give us a call at 520-276-8326. Again, 520-276-8326 so we can get you scheduled into our program. Last year on the uh, Tucson Tech Talk, which was my old podcast show on Tucson Business Radio X, I did a segment on scams, one of which turned out to get a lot of online interest. The topic was how scammers drain your bank account. Uh, several messages on the YouTube uh, video uh, was made in the message board, one of which was a gentleman by the name of David, and he, uh, he had mentioned uh, something very interesting uh, about the about how uh, there are some phone systems that don't necessarily allow you to 
complete your call simply by hanging up. But I would like to introduce one of uh, a guest and a friend of mine, Rod Brown. He's in the studio with us today. Uh, he is an AT&T installer, uh, electrician, and um, uh, you, you also do uh, uh, jingles, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm a musician, and uh, I make uh, commercials, backgrounds, and uh, businesses, small businesses, what have you, and okay. voiceovers. All right. Well, uh, anyone listening, uh, get out your pens and paper. He's going to be sharing our uh, some information about himself later on in the show so that uh, you can hire him if... Uh, if uh, if you're ever needed, if he's ever needed for something that you're doing, so, um, so there's this scam. So, the, uh, this person from from the UK, his name is David. He made this uh, message board. So uh, Rod actually knows a lot about uh, phone systems. He's one of my friends. That, uh, many uh, people that I know that uh, that uh, have a lot of uh, history in phone systems. So uh, when when someone calls on a landline phone, and we're talking about the old phone systems, when they hang up the phone, does that call disconnect? Well, this goes back to, I mean, I'm a Gen X person, so, you know, <laughs> shout out to all Gen X people in the world. We used to be able to pick up the phone, okay, and there would, uh, we, would have, we would be able to pick up the phone, somebody, say your girlfriend calls you, you know, and, oh man, my girlfriend's on, oh man, and so now you're in the living room, and it, you know, when your mom and dad's in the, in the kitchen, you know, so I'd pick up the phone and it'd be her. So I'd, so I'd hang up the phone, run into the other room, pick up the phone, she'd still be there. That was uh, the old phone system of the 80s. As we went digital, all that stuff changed, you know. Mm -hmm. I remember sometimes your person, you know, you get into an argument with somebody. You'd hang up the phone, you say, ah, fix everything, you know, I'll, you know, tell them. You tell them something, you hang up the phone, pick it up, they're still there, right? <laughs> <laughs> nice, oh, well, uh, uh, you know, uh. So, <laughs> what did you say? Well, you know, I, uh, you know. Okay. Um, so, 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 so th this is an example of how you can hang up the phone, mm -hmm. but the phone call is we'll still, still, be is there. still there. If the person, uh, so if I called you, you know, but you hang up the phone, I stay, I have the phone still open, you know. So, so how do you end the call then if you hang up the phone and the call is still well, there? Well, back in the past, they had these relays that would have delay how long the phone would, the, the circuit when you're talking on the phone, it's an electric circuit. So back in the past, so it would delay how long it would take before it closed out, and it would be you know a few seconds. You know, mm -hmm. back in the past, in places like in other places, it's two minutes. Mm. Two minutes. Yes, uh, okay. two to three minutes actually. Two to, so you would have to hang up the phone and leave it on the hook, like hung up. Mm -hmm. for two, two to three minutes, minutes to completely close that, that circuit, line. that because line. Because they said, well, if the person is on hold. So it was, uh, uh, let's see, I remember it uh, It said, caller subscribe hell. That's the name of the service. So kind of like you have three-way calling. You would have, you know, voice, voicemail. Well, caller subscribe hell was one of the services that, it, you know. Provided. Right, in the, in the early stages of three-way calling and putting people on hold, right. they were pretty much uh, uh types of ways to, that you can hit the that Re you can hit the hook receiver, in the receiver right. if you if you hit the receiver it would put the first curl caller on hold and it would allow you to make a second phone call mm -hmm. if that call goes through you can hit the receiver again and then mm -hmm. you're back to the first person you hit the one more time and then now you're at three people mm -hmm. so now it's it's a series of, of of clicks where if you just hang up the phone now now that now now the phone company has to come up with some sort of thing that would say okay are they hanging up the phone, or are they about to make another call? Do they want to put this person on hold? Exactly. You know, so 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 that's when this, that that was around the time this happened. This was like 20, 25 years ago because mm -hmm. I spoke to a couple of people in preparation for this show, and they remember those days. Mm -hmm. Now, now we're not talking. You mentioned digital. This is analog versus digital. This is not for digital systems. So if you get your phone system through a, uh, a cable company, uh, uh, or or if you have a DSL. Uh, uh, box in your house with a phone jack in it, and that's how you talk in your phone. This doesn't really apply. This applies to the phone jack that is on your wall, and you connect the phone directly to that phone jack with no other um, with, with, with no other boxes or any other interference. Am I correct? Right. And so the, the, this this goes back to you know, like you said, a, a quite a long time ago. Most people have what you said, digital phones, where they're, they're plugging it into some kind of a router. Mm -hmm. So now that, your dial tone, you know, the, 
You know that, right? Well, that is generating from the box in your house. Well, before it would it was from a, a central office, the CO, so a central office somewhere in in the, in the neighborhood somewhere, a big giant building. You know, it's powered by you know, in case power goes out, uh, it would it was powered by you know oil and gas and whatever. If you notice, whenever the power goes out, the phone was always on. I don't care how terrible the weather was. I mean, it could be a hurricane. And you pick up the phone, oh, my goodness, I'm a, the power's out. Let me pick up the phone. Well, wait a minute now, that, that's, a, that's a telephone line, too. I mean, that's a line. How come it's never down? See, they were protected. You know, the government made sure that AT&T and all these other companies were protected to the max, you mm. know, for their services. Their services always work. Mm. So it'd be really bad. It had to get really bad. Well, you could even uh, run 70 volts even through those phone lines if, if you were to see, harness. You bring up a point, now, see. Okay, well, well we're going we're we're to get way too off. <laughs> but but the, the, the point of this is we're, we were answering this uh, question that, uh, that, that came up on the board. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and you mentioned a pretty good thing about the dial tone. So right. if, if, you hung up, if you hang up these old uh, uh, analog phones long enough and mm -hmm. you pick up and you hear a dial tone, right. does that mean that you're good to go? Or is that is that always a uh, a good telltale sign that the last call was completely uh, done? If you pick up the phone and you now hear a dial tone, you're talking about today or uh, an analog phones? Okay, yes, uh, a thinking man could get around that, but yes, <laughs> now we're thinking men, so uh, you know I, I could cause you to hear a dial tone. For instance, we see this in movies, don't we? In California, for example. That's right. You could cause, a thinking man could cause you to hear, hear that. the dial tone. In fact, mm. that dial tone that you're hearing was generated from the CEO. The reason your phone does that now at all, at any level, is because they generated it from that box because you're used to hearing it. That's the only reason. Digital phones do not require any noises or anything like that. Mm. But if you had no noise on that line, you know, because it's digital, you'd be stuck going, hello? Hey, what? Hello? You know, mm -hmm. to see the person. So they want to, they deliberately <laughs> introduce some, some noise uh -huh. because we were used to hearing that. So California, for example, if you notice a movie, it'll be a movie and the, 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 the music will be ominous, you know, and the guy's on the phone and it's a, you know, it's a hostage situation and, you know, he's on the phone, he's talking, then he hangs up the phone and you hear, and he's yeah. looking at the phone, right? The dial tone, yeah. Think about this. Have you ever had a situation where the person would hang up the phone and you could hear the dial tone after they hang up? Usually no. when they hang up. No, it only ha it happens like maybe a m maybe 30, 20, 30, 40 seconds later. Right. You See, California had a system right up past the digital age that was made in such a way. So whereas if you called me, that same hang up the phone first, I would hear a dial tone. Mm -hmm. So that's that delay system we were just talking about, that call hold the delay system. Well, now, since the movies are made in California, uh -huh. that was their experience. So that's why... You know, they would put that in movies all the time. Right. But now you they do it with a cell phone. And, and cell phones don't do that. So they just do it just to, you know, be dramatic. But <laughs> then you would just, in other places, you would just hear a click and then and silence. Yes. Yeah. Right. And then you'd be like, hello? Right. But in no, movies, did, they never do that. Did they really <laughs> hang up on me? No. Exactly. Hello? 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 Hey, Are they still hello? there? Yeah. So, right. so, so yeah. So, so the, the dial tone is not always a, uh, a good indicator. Okay. Right. So what, what would, be, if someone could cause... A dial tone sound. What would be a good indicator that 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 is real or fake? Is there is there a way to? Well, to there determine? was a, a a device that would that could monitor how long a phone call is, and it would actually tell, you know, if uh, if the phone is clear or not. But that's getting into a big hairy thing. If you're <laughs> in the United States, if you're not in the States, you don't have to worry about none of this. If I call you or you call me in the United States, we're calling digital switching. Before a switching board, there'd be a lady. And, you know, you would call up her, and she would go, number, please. And then, you would, you know, she'd take the cord, stick it in there, and patch it to, you know, yeah. Pennsylvania 348 or whatever. Yeah. And, well, now they have a switch system that's in the cloud. You know? Yes. I like this. In the cloud. Everything's in the cloud. Yeah, everything's in the cloud. And so, they, so the cloud, you call the cloud, and the cloud will connect you to different things. And it can detect when the phone is off or on either end. And off you go. And off it goes. Well, mm -hmm. now we've got a problem with these other countries. They'll say now. Nah. Yeah, so because a, the, a lot of countries aren't on into the cloud, they're still doing the you know the old stuff. Exactly. Um, and you know the the funny thing is is uh, we you know we we we're, we're accustomed to to all these things, and uh, it's it's uh, it's mind boggling of, of where we've come from. But uh, up uh, what we're going to do is we're going to continue this discussion on uh, how scammers are going to be uh, using this type of uh, thing to uh, drain your bank account with our special 
guest, Rod Brown. We'll also try to take some of your calls on our open lines, 520-790-2040. You are listening to The Computer Doctor Show. We'll be right back after this, after this quick break. Stay distracted tuned. driving has become a deadly epidemic. Saving one life from the hand of a distracted motorist is totally worth it. Commit to safe driving. Commit to following the law. And most importantly, commit to saving lives. Reckless and distracted driving is the number one killer of teenagers in America. Safety is everyone's responsibility. Pledge to give driving the 100% attention it deserves. Phones down, eyes up. Just drive. Sponsored by Look, Save a Life in memory of Paul Garcia and Caitlin Festerling. Ugly Goose Car Rental is new in Tucson. Providing a low-cost auto rental alternative for just $100 per week. The only catch? The cars are ugly, but very safe and reliable to get you to work, school, shopping, and all your important appointments. To reserve your $100 a week car rental, call Ugly Goose Car Rental at 520-261-0439. Again, 520-261-0439. Solar is popping up all over town. Why? Because solar just makes sense. Say goodbye to expensive summer electricity bills. Call or text Julie Festerling at Icon Power, 520-307-1013. Avoid the new 7.9% price increase with the utility company. Call Julie at 520-307-1013. Icon Power will help you take control of your electric bill. Perfect Look Photography is a photography business that serves individuals, families, wedding parties, children's parties, quinceaneras, and family reunions. We also do headshots for actors and model portfolios. We photograph all types of events in Tucson and communities in Pima and Santa Cruz counties. In addition, we provide more types of photos than any photographer in Tucson, including green screen, art photography, montages, and DVD slideshows. We provide great photos at great prices. For more information or to get a quote please call 499-4209 computer doctor of tucson is the best choice in desktop support in tucson they fix error messages power and boot problems install of software and hardware and much more you can come to them or they can come to you or even have a remote support session so they can fix your issues over the phone quickly give them a call at 261-5508 261-5508. Visit them on the web at computerdoctortucson.com. Computer Doctor of Tucson. Because technology is great when it works. Welcome back to the Computer Doctor Show. With us today, Rod Brown, former AT&T installer and electrician, always brings a wealth and wrath of knowledge to our program, telling us how it really is, continuing our discussion on how scammers use landline phone tricks to drain your bank account, and uh, before the break, we were talking about how the how these phone systems may work, how when you hang up the phone, it's not really necessarily connected. Now we're talking about analog phones. So how can, how can this knowledge of how these analog phones, how can that be exploited by scammers? What, what could scammers do? You mentioned that you figured out how they did it. Mm. Okay, so now let's say I'm in England and I call you in the United States, and I say, hey, hello, lad. You know, well, then I would give it away, right? <laughs> so then I'm going to have to talk in some kind of a way with an accent that you won't think that I'm from where I'm from, right? Mm -hmm. so, now, uh, so now the person calls, and, and you know, they, they use a spoofed email, I mean, a spoofed uh, caller ID, which is, you can, listen, you can go on the Internet, and spoof ID is right yep. online. You could do, <laughs> you've probably spoken about that on your show before. You know, you just type in a telephone number, yep. and... Fake the ID. So, That's right. That's yeah. how it starts. Mm -hmm. um, we, uh, we're we going to hold off for one second. We're going to go to our caller. Charles uh, is on uh, the line for us. Hi. Welcome to the Computer Doctor Show. Thanks. I was just calling to talk about what you gentlemen were discussing. I like that technology is better when it works motto. Ooh, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> uh, I get probably four to five calls a day where if there's a pause, there's a little whoop noise, and then um, it's, of course, a scam. The latest one was uh, Social Security calling. They had a, a guy who was supposedly a law enforcement agent telling you that whatever <laughs> it was, your account has been hacked. And I, I have a response for these guys. I go, sure, no problem. That's serious. What's your address? I'll be right over. <laughs> and, of course... They always back. They always back away from that, you know. And mm -hmm. and I and the last one wouldn't tell me. I said, "It's okay. I know where the office is. I'm on my way." He says, "Hurry, hurry, beat feet." 
And I go, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm leaving right now. You know, there's and an so, entire there's an entire society of people called scam baiters, and what they are right. what what they like to do is they like to find where they 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 collect these phone numbers. There there's websites of these phone numbers, and they call them just to waste their time, because there's really no way to stop them per se. You know, to get but we back could, at, well, yeah. I, what their favorite trick lately is. They call me with a number that's in the same prefix as my cell phone. Mm -hmm. Right. And so you think it's another cell phone call. Spoofing. ID, uh, caller ID spoofing, yeah. Right. The dead giveaway is, of course, you call back and that number is either out of service or it's not the person at all. They've used an actual live number. And I always tell them, oops, sorry, wrong number, to hang up because I know it wasn't them. But I just wish there was some way. When I, I have a second cell phone, sometimes I call them. I call the number that I'm on with, and I, and I get the disconnect reporting, and I say, can I ask you real one quick question? Why is it when I dial this number back from my second phone, it rings to a disconnect? And they always hang up when I say exactly, that. Exactly, because they know they're caught, and they know, they know that you're not going to get anywhere with you, so they're just going to hang up the phone and then just try the next victim, because it's it, time is money with them. They're just trying and to get what, as many of these calls out as possible. And what is the deal with the auto warranty scam? What's the scam on that one? If you know, <laughs> I'm going to hang up and listen on the phone. Thank you. On the radio. I you know what? We might. Uh, thank, thank you very much for calling in, Charles. Uh, you know what? I don't know exactly what is the whole deal with, the, with, with that scam, but maybe we should do a show about that. But with the remaining time that we do have, uh, Rod, about these scams and how they work with the, with, with the phones. So they, they spoof the caller ID, okay? And then when they think that you, when you hang up your phone, then what do they do? Okay, so now I'm, I'm in England and I got this delay. And uh, by the way, other countries that England has controlled over the years, they also have that phone system because they don't want to put it in. So now you got to worry about these other countries, you know, India, whatever, I don't know. But so now I'm on the phone. I call you. You hang up. And I say, hey, listen. Hello, I am from the bank. You're... T- you're information has been compromised please give your telephone number and <laughs> okay so now. there you go and uh so then you hang up and say, oh my goodness oh, the bank oh my goodness and so you hang up the phone now i called you now i still have the phone in my hand then you pick up the phone and it's you know i i still have the phone open so the line is open so now you start talking or you start dialing a number and then that's that's how i capture your information because you're actually still talking to me still we have time for one more quick caller we have uh roberta is roberta on the phone with us hi roberta welcome to the computer doctor show hi aaron i have a question but first i want to say thank you with all my heart for getting my uh, um the bible and the audio and large print on my- <laughs> oh well you're very welcome thank you very much uh i hope i i, I heard i heard good things i've heard yeah. good things that that have happened over there yeah there, very, very good. Did you have another question? Yes. Would I be safer to do my banking over a landline or over a cell phone? Ah. That's interesting. Mm. Well, you know what? I think we're going to have to think about that question, Roberta, because you know what? There, there's pros and cons e- either way. Um, uh, landlines tend to be easier to bug, whereas digital lines are more easier to... Uh, have a tendency to be hacked. So there are, there, there's pros and cons either way. You know what? We may have to answer that on a future show, but that is an excellent question. And I really, really wish that we could keep on going on in the subject. You know, you know the, the world of scams and scam baiting are just so much out there because they affect so many people. Uh, I, I think we need, just need to do more shows of this because mm-hmm. we are running out of time. Give us a quick uh, rundown, uh, Rod, of how people can get a hold of you. If okay, they need my real quick email address: s h e r r o d b r o w n. Sherrod Brown, number two. Sherrod Brown two at aol dot com. All right, all right. Thank you very much for being on the show with, with, with us today. We're going to have you again when we have some more time. We would like to thank our awesome sponsors: Icon Power, Perfect Look Photography, and Ugly Goose Car Rental. Please do business with them. They are local and help to keep this show on the air. 
My name is Aaron Moss, your host and technology expert. Tom Fairbanks is at the control board. Listen to the Computer Doctor Show every Saturday at 2 p.m. right here on KVOI 1030 The Voice. Stay safe, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we will talk to you again next week.